Hi, it's Wesley with Expand to Craft here. I am, uh, with just a little teaser, going to show you that I have changed the small sail from, this is black and tan, it's a 16-foot canoe with 16-foot Expand to Craft outriggers. I've put a more of a sport or performance-oriented uh, sloop rig sail on here. It's just kind of mocked up. I'm still working on it. Um, I haven't gotten the, the chain plates and the angles just right. I have to take it sailing to figure out, do I need to move the mast aft a little bit? Or should it be just where it is? I have to add some kind of lee board or swinging board or kegel of some sort so I have an underwater lateral resistance. But I'm really excited because I know that this rig when I had it on a 12-foot uh, expand the craft outrigger canoe, it was fantastic. It would just ghost along in barely any wind whatsoever. Non, you know, just, just wind that you couldn't even perceive, it would still sail. I imagine this one is even more efficient than a 12-footer, even though it has the wood decks and you can carry a lot of stuff and lots of people. I believe that just in a whisper of wind, this boat will sail very nicely and it should go upwind very well as well so anyway if you want to follow the uh, the trials of this boat and how I change it and what I rig it with I may put a spinnaker pole out there who knows what I'll do uh, just subscribe uh, expandacraft.com and don't forget here on YouTube make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube make a comment below tell me about some of the um, uh, experiences that you've had with different sail rigs. This one is off of a snipe, which is a, a sailing dinghy. This the sail um, readily available. I think it was like 500 bucks. I got the uh, the, the mast used for free, uh, so it's not a very expensive project. I got the canoe for three or four hundred dollars, and then I put my outrigger kits, the expand the craft outrigger kit, on here. So it's really a budget boat. And the whole thing can come apart. I can rooftop the canoe and all the other pieces and parts either go on the roof rack or in the back of the pickup truck. You could use it, uh, you know, in a car if you have something that can car top the canoe. Then everything else goes into the hatchback. Expandthecraft.com. Check us out. Follow us and let us uh, show you how this thing is going to work in the water.